<clears throat> ma, ma, ma. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dragout Town, and today I'm going to teach you how to mod Boneworks for your computer. Now, before we get started, I just want to say it would really mean the world to me if you can drop a like on the video and comment if this video helped you. And also, if you could take a peek at my content, it's really funny. I make a lot of videos, they're hilarious, not just tutorials. I make a lot of stuff. With that being said, let's get ready to go mod our video game. Alright, so first things first, we need Boneworks. So, we're gonna download Boneworks on Steam. So, let's do that. Love me some Boneworks, am I right? Go away, Abdul. We don't need to see your face, but Jotaro, what's up, my homie? Alright, so the next thing you need to do is go to the description of the video and look for the link titled Thunderstore.io. Now, this is where you're going to download all your mods. And, um, alright, so basically we just do most downloaded. Just click most downloaded. Now, R2 Modman is a mod manager, and if you don't want to do it manually, feel free to do that. But I don't use it, so I can't help you. In any case... We're gonna need Melon Loader, so we're gonna go ahead and download Melon Loader. This is the one thing we need right now. We're not gonna worry about anything else. Alright, so we got Melon Loader here, and it looks like three books stacked on top of each other, and that's because it's a zip file. Um, you need an extraction program. I use WinRAR, but a lot of people use 7-zip, so whatever thing you want to use, go ahead to extract it. And um, basically, you can right-click it, click Extract to... Melon loader, blah, blah, blah. Now, we're going to put this file right there. All right, now that we have Melon Loader, my game needs to finish installing, so we'll wait for that. All right, now that our Boneworks has finished installing, we want to right-click it, go to Properties, and then from there, we want to click Local Files, click Browse, and now we're in the Installation folder. Wonderful. Now double-click in. We'll see Boneworks EXE, perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this melon loader. All right, we're gonna open that folder. As you can see, there are a bunch of files in one folder here. You just wanna take all of these and then drag this into the main directory, all right? Now, in order to get to the installation folder for Boneworks on Oculus, you just have to go to the library and then go to your Boneworks game. I'm gonna pretend that VR chat is Boneworks because I don't own Boneworks on Oculus. So click the three dots on Boneworks. Scroll down to details. Now on the right hand side, you see this line of text here. Just click that. Then go to the file explorer down here. File explorer. And then click up here to the address bar and paste whatever your Boneworks link that you just copied. For me, it's VR chat because I don't have Boneworks, but for you, it's going to be Boneworks, and it's going to look like this when you press enter, probably. Just make sure that when you click in, you can see the Boneworks application. And with that, we're going to go ahead and run Boneworks, okay? We're going to run Boneworks. All right, now that we ran Boneworks, uh, Melon Loader is doing its job. Um, you do not need to put on your headset for this. We just need it to run so that it can build the files necessary to completely mod the game so yeah you'll see this screen pop up and all you got to do is just wait all right perfect blah 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 i don't really give a shit bitch get me out okay now uh bleh. all right now that we ran boneworks with melon loader all these new files just popped up mod folder plugin folder user data user libs now that we have these folders we can go ahead and download some actual mods all right, so now that we got Melon Loader working, we're gonna have to download some more mods. These mods are gonna be required though, so just uh, make sure to pay attention. Required mod is the mod that is not mod. Custom maps, we need that. Player models, we need that. And entanglement, we need that. So these four core files, we're gonna download. Download, manual download. Manual download and manual download and we're done not we're not done entirely but we're done for this section so we just need to minimize that go get our mods that we downloaded Boink. and all right now just do the same thing you did with lava gang melon loader all right just extract everyone 
Alright. Now you can go to hell. And here's this. Alright. Alright, we got our core mods. Bomb, 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 bomb. Now double click your mods, check in, you see entanglement.dll. Now, DLL files will always go in the mods folder, okay? No matter what. You don't have to worry about these other extra folders or files. So, um, okay, so this mod, mod that is not mod, you just drag that in. Oop. Plugins, okay? We'll drag that into plugins. Okay, perfect. We got custom maps that goes right into mods. And custom player models go into mods. Alrighty then. Now that we have those installed, run the Boneworks a second time. And you still don't need to have your headset on. You just need to run it. All right, plugins loaded. It's loading in the mods that we just added. Perfect. Now this is gonna install more files that are required if you wanna download like custom maps and custom whatever the hell you want. All right, perfect. Great. Shut the fuck up. When you go into user data, it shows all of this stuff. Player models, custom maps, custom items, all that good, good. Now we go back install some more mods all right every single mod type has been downloaded and i will explain to you in detail which goes where all right so for this audio we have a user data folder a mods folder and a melon loader folder now the easy way would be to just take all of these and then drag it over here all right see it didn't ask for a replace but in case it does, just hit OK. Now, if you want to remove the audio mod, you just go into the folder you downloaded, you check what you added, and just, you know, delete it. So here, there's managed. Um, mods is audio replacer.dll. Easily removable. And hit markers are right, user data. Hit markers and custom audio. So, yeah. All right, perfect. Custom audio installed. Custom map, you go to user data and custom map. Custom maps will be BCM extension. BCM. Alright, BCM extension. You just drag that in there. This is an NPC. So, NPC is a dot melon. So, dot melons go in items, custom items. Even though they're an NPC, it's a melon file, so it goes in custom items. This mod is a DLL, so a DLL would go in mods. All right, you guys following along? We have a player model here, player model dot body. Just add it into the player models under user data. Simple, super simple, super easy. Now we need one more mod for your utility gun to work and that's a save file. Unless you've already beaten the game, you don't need to do this. But if you didn't beat the game, you need to download this. All right, so go into the Thunder Store and type save and download this Boneworks Complete Save 100%. Now here's a, here's a special step you need to do. Go to view up here at the File Explorer, go to view. In the right, make sure that hidden items are checked. Now that we have view hidden folders enabled, go to local files, users, your username, and then app data. It's gonna show like a faint folder icon we go to local low, scroll down to stress level zero, phone works, and then you'll see this. Open up your save that you downloaded, um, double click into that, and then drag all of this over here, okay? And hit replace. All right, with that, you can play Boneworks modded. Let's go. Now you just go download whatever mods you want. All right, everybody, we're in the game. Let's see if anything worked. So we got the bone menu. Hyper jump mod that is not mod, better launching, player model, Spider-Man, uncapped, custom mods, entanglement, everything seems to be here. Perfect. Spider bite, of course I want to be Spider-Man, you fucking bitch. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a Spider-Man can. You almost hit me, bitch! 
Whoa, this place is really well done. What the fucking dick? What the wee menu garbage is this? What? As you can see, it works. And if you installed the save file thing correctly, when you get the utility gun and you open it up, you'll be able to see everything properly as well. Come on, Grub, you're going up! Ugh. Oh, you missed your flight, Gura. Holy shit, they almost crashed. I will escort you to the main exit the utility tunnels. How about I punch your shit into this car? Ugh. Oh. How about I punch the car instead? Okay, sorry. Oh my god, Gura! Oh shit, you're okay. Oh my god, bitch! You okay? Oh, you... You look busted. You good? Oh my god. Oh, let's go check him out. Girl? Are you dead? You're dead now? <gasps> We're catching that. Ah! Onward! To that fucking island! We're taking it over! And we're gonna call it Dragotown. No, wait, what are you doing? Turn back! Go back that way! As you can see, the mods work, so thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your modding. Drop a like on the video, comment if this helped. And, um, yep. Thank you. And watch my videos. Watch my new Sword Art video I posted, it's freaking awesome. Alright, goodbye everybody. Take care.